Hello, Zich here. I want to give you some information on the conveyor belt 3D printer. So you've probably seen this design previously on Black Bell 3D and Bill Steel also made one of these on Thingiverse. This belt was is normally a stainless steel shim that's covered in Kapton tape. And my brother gave me this uh, laser printer transfer belt thought it might be a good idea to try. So I changed the design of the printer to fit the belt. So it's deeper and longer. So I don't know what kind of plastic this is, but it doesn't melt. So it must be something like Kapton tape or Teflon or something. So the advantage of this printer with a tilted uh, gantry here and the conveyor belt is that you can print as long as you want. Well, technically infinitely long. The only limitation is the depth and the height. Black Belt 3D has done some amazing examples of large prints. So when I was trying to print this, this little crocodile or alligator, um, I was battling to get it to, to stick because of the, the small surface area. So first I tried some glue stick, which helped a bit. And then I saw over here the heat bed wasn't warming up. So it would be in hot center degrees over here, but over here it wouldn't. It would be like 30 degrees. So what I did was I, I changed the, the this heat bed that I've got. So I took off the heat bed and I moved it to the left. I stuck down the heat bed with Kapton tape at the top and the bottom. I also changed this support here because the heat bed and the mirror now lies on top of this. I had to lower this by 2 millimeters or 1.7 millimeters and this side stayed the same. So now the lift of the bed where the print starts heats up to proper temperature, 65 degrees. I'm also using glue stick on here that just makes it stick a little bit better when it's, when it's a small print like this. So here is a time lapse of that crocodile being printed. Unfortunately, the uh, the iPad battery ran flat, so I didn't get the whole thing. You can see the left back foot didn't print very well because of the glue stick not being applied properly. Overall, I'm very happy with the print quality. It's getting better and better. It's better than the uh, steel belt I had initially. Thanks very much for watching.